Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you how to make satin roses. And instead of using satin ribbon, I'm going to use satin fabric, which I just really love the way the roses turn out. Isn't that beautiful? This is a small bouquet I made. This could be used for a bridesmaid, a bride, or even the flower girl. Sometimes they carry little bouquets. Isn't that adorable? Oh, let me show you another project I made. A little boutonniere with a satin rose. And I made little satin rose buds for the back here. And then I made this fairly large green satin rose for the satin clothes hanger. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so let's get started. This is so, so easy. First, you're going to need, of course, your fabric. I've got um, ivory cream satin I bought. And I cut a strip. This looks like it's about 2 inches by 16 inches. Of course, the larger the strip in width and length, the larger the flower. And you're going to fold the right sides together, just like that. And then you're going to put a, a stitch, just a straight stitch, a running stitch along the edge, as close as you can get to the edge. Okay? And then you're going to turn this inside out. And make sure you use the same color thread. I mean, it needs to match your fabric. And this is, I've got a little trick. Since this is so tiny, I use the end of the top of a knitting needle. And I kind of pull down on the fabric as I push up on the needle. And there you go. That is so, so easy. Next step is that this is the seam. So you need to put it in the center. Just like that. And you're going to come to the end here. And you're just going to do a, a fold down like that. Okay, and then you're going to fold it one more time. This rose is so easy to make. You're going to see. You're going to be amazed. And then you're going to fold it and fold it. And now you've got this little center that's forming. You need to take a needle, double thread it, and use the thread that matches the fabric. And you're going to kind of run it through here the bottom here and tack those layers together. Just do it a couple of times. Okay, let's start rolling again. Just turn it. And the more you turn the fabric, kind of twist the fabric as you're going around, the more the petals are going to form. And every rose is going to be different. There's no way you can make two roses exactly alike. Just kind of twist it and lay it down, pinching it at the bottom like this, keeping it together. Okay, let's do another few tacking stitches here just to secure it. Make sure you get all the folds. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's continue.
Oh gosh, isn't that beautiful? Just kind of twist it as you go, holding it together. Let's put a few more tacks in the bottom. Make sure you're catching them all. How beautiful is that? Okay, let's make a few more turns here around. And the end of it needs to go down where you've been tacking. Kind of twist it and just kind of pinch it there and tack some more. some more. I should have had some more thread. I think my thread was too short. So when you do it, make sure you've got a lot of thread. Probably about 12 inches. But I think we're going to be able to finish this off. Oh yes. Lovely. Okay. Tie it off. Isn't that beautiful? And that's how you make a satin rose out of satin. Gorgeous.